doctor turned politician Vijay Kant breathed his last on Thursday morning. And right now, tens of thousands of people are visiting Vijay Kant's residence to pay tribute to the late actor. He was 71. He was undergoing treatment at Myatt Hospital. The first bulletin that was issued today said that the actor was tested positive for COVID and was on ventilator support. The second medical bulletin issued a short while later confirmed the death of the 71-year-old and the last bulletin said that he was suffering from pneumonia and was on ventilator support. Ever since then, Twitter has been exploding with condolence message for the late actor-turned-politician. As far as the last rites uh, is concerned, his body has now been kept at the party office for fans, party cadre, politicians, celebrities to pay tributes to the late actor and he will be cremated at the DMDK party office tomorrow evening with state honours. And talking about Vijay Khan's political career, he made his debut in 2005 when he launched his party, the DMDK. In 2006, he won from the Virudhachalam constituency. And in 2011, he turned the tables on by becoming the leader of opposition, pushing the DMK to a distant third. In 2016, many said that he would play the kingmaker because he was a face of the third front, not joining hands with either of the Dravidian parties. Because in 2011, his party was in an alliance with the ADMK and they won 29 seats, but later the alliance didn't work out. And since then, he's had health issues and therefore, in terms of his political career, uh, the vote share of the party also decreased because he stopped campaigning. He had health issues, so he was not seen much uh, on public platforms and therefore his wife was leading the political campaign and uh, for the state assembly and the parliament el uh, elections. In November this year, once again, he suffered a health setback. He was taken to hospital, was there for three weeks and later he was discharged. On the 14th of December is when people got to see him one last time attending a political event. It was the party's executive council meeting where Prem Lata Vijayakant, his wife, was made the general secretary of the party. That was the last time everyone saw Vijayakant attend an event. Again, he suffered health setback and once again he was hospitalized. But this time, because of testing positive for COVID, because of pneumonia, he was on ventilator support and breathed his last early this morning. Condolence is pouring in for the family and everyone is talking about not just how great an actor he was but also how he was a seasoned politician and he rocked the political uh, atmosphere in the state between 2005 and 2016 after which his health condition stopped him from making public appearances. Till tomorrow evening at the party office his body will be there and people will be paying uh, tributes to the legendary actor and a great politician.